Hi guys, Mark here. I hope you are doing well. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make a simple clove hitch paracord bracelet. Here, you can see that it has a nice looking pattern. The other side has a nice looking eye catching pattern as well. So you can consider this bracelet reversible, giving you two nice looking styles. It is done using a buckle, so it is easy to put on and off. To make the bracelet, I'm going to be using a 3 8 inch bracelet buckle. We're going to be using type 1 paracord. Two pieces of one color for our main pattern, one cord, which is visible here on the sides. For a 6 inch weave, our two primary cords are 8 feet long each. Our secondary cord is 4 feet long. Finally, scissors and a lighter are our final two supplies. We start our bracelet by attaching our two primary cords onto our buckle. So you take one, fold it in half, Attach it onto your buckle using a lark's head knot. Like this. Do the same thing with your other cord. Turn your buckle around so that the bottom part is facing up. We're going to be building our bracelet on the underside which gives you a much more consistent look. So the buckle is facing bottom up. Take a scrap piece of paracord Again, fold it in half, attach it onto the other end of your buckle. Again, using a lark's head knot. Now, secure this cord onto your surface either by taping it down or by kneeling it down into your surface. Take your last remaining cord for now, we're going to secure it here onto the right of our primary ends. We're ready to begin tying. 
We now start a simple series of double half hatches. First from right to left, then back from left to right, then again from right to left and so on. Start with your first chord, pass it top down under your secondary chord, like this. Repeat for a second time. So, top down under your secondary chord. Tighten up as close to the buckle as possible. Take the next chord. Do the same thing. So, top down under your secondary chord. Top down again. Tighten up. The next chord. And our last one. So like this. You really want your knots as close to the buckle as possible. We now continue by passing our secondary chord over our primary ends. Then we attach them from left to right. The first one like this, top down, attaching it onto our secondary chord. Repeat for a second time, like this. The next chord, And the next chord. And the last of our chords. We now pass our secondary chord over our primary ends and again travel from right to left. So our first chord the second chord the third chord
and the last of our chords. And again from left to right. Our first chord. Our second chord. The third chord and the last of our chords. So, at this point, I think you know how to do the rest of your bracelet. Repeat the same pattern until you reach a sufficient length. So again, from right to left, then from left to right, and so on. When we reach a sufficient length for our bracelet, we finish it up. Turn it around. Take the other buckle end. Attach the two middle strands onto your buckle end. To do this, we use the cow hatch. So the left strand The right end the 
like this. Before I tighten up the two cow hatches, I'm going to feed the other two ends through them like this. So the right end passes under here. The left end under here. Tighten everything up. Trim the excess ends. So guys, that's our bracelet. Quite simple to do and it looks great. Thank you very much for joining me today, consider supporting the site on Patreon and I'll see you next time.